Weebly Studio. Hello, and I am back with a very late May vlog. You might disagree, but I think I'm going to catch up soon and hopefully be up to date. <laughs> so, May has been a lot of hours at the pottery studio. It was simply just tons of wheeling practice and I'm trying to remove my piece from the wheel here. It's always scary because I could accidentally squish it. Here's me again, another day at the studio. <laughs> so the goal for May was to be able to wheel one kilogram cylinders, all the same height and circumference. Oh, watch me pull a chunk of clay from the bottom all the way up. It's a lot harder than it looks, trust me. But I do think the thickness of the walls are still a bit uneven. I'm crossing my fingers. Practice will hopefully make perfect one day. Not bad, eh? Huh. And it's another new day. I feel like, in terms of my wheeling journey, May was a bit anticlimactic. Just a lot of repeated practice. I used that wooden crisscross thing as a template to wheel same size cylinders. I think you can maybe see me use it again in a clip very soon. And yeah, I also cut pieces in half to see how evenly I raised the walls. Just repeat it all over again. There you go. Good job, Amy. <laughs> Keep going. Now with the weather getting warmer, I decided to get a bit more nature friendly. I always wanted to try out camping to see if it was for me, so I went to a faux caravan camping site. The caravan is just permanently parked. <laughs> Anyways, turns out camping isn't really for me. I was just there for the barbecue. So I guess barbecues and picnics are more my cup of tea than camping itself. It was still good, great experience. Then I went hiking and I hiked up Cheonggyesan, Cheonggye Mountain. It was pretty steep but mostly just a very long hike. I enjoyed it much more than the caravan camping and I think I would definitely go on a few more hikes in the future. And also eat out at great, restu at great restaurants after. Why not? I deserve it. <laughs> this place was really good but I would say the kimchi jjigae was a bit on the sweet side, but I do recommend. Then back at the studio and tons and tons of practice. Ceramics is definitely a labor intensive form of art. A lot of repetition and patience is also required. But if you truly enjoy the full process and are able to appreciate the final product, you can definitely pull through. I am definitely pulling through. And I don't really enjoy trimming or glazing as much as I do wheeling. But when the pieces are out of their final firing, I am overwhelmed. So keep going if you're still learning to wheel. There is always light at the end of the tunnel. And I think this also goes for learning any type of new skill set. Sometimes it could definitely feel like you're stuck at the same step and not improving. But do pull through. When I started wheeling, centering the clay was so hard and I felt like maybe I'm just incapable of ever accomplishing it but just keep going. I still have trouble centering anything over a kilogram, but hey, I can still make some pretty decent pieces. So in conclusion, long story short, pull through.
Oh, and one exciting thing. I got stamps to stamp my initials on my ceramics. Well, actually, I was gifted them by my teacher. <laughs> but I realized even stamping was a skill. <laughs> I'm still trying to get the hang of it. And then I wanted to hang around more in the city and eat out, try new restaurants. So I was trying out a few new ones and this Indian curry place was bomb. I also really love the samosas. Highly recommend if you're looking for a good Indian curry place in Seoul or if you're visiting and you suddenly crave it, I will have the information down below. I'm actually really enjoying it. I don't know why I don't look like I'm enjoying it that much. <laughs> I also went to a Korean traditional, traditional ceramics exhibition and then went to a very nice moody cafe and then I got terribly sick. I was sick for over a week. I think almost 10 days. There weren't any muscle pains or fever or anything, but just coughs and runny noses. So I stayed put at home. Now, this vlog wasn't that exciting, but I also have the intention of documenting, which I feel this vlog definitely served its purpose. So I will be back with a much more eventful June vlog soon. Thank you all so much for watching and have a good one. Bye.